is uh, Larry Clay, and what's the name of the business? Lake and Wildlife Specialist. Lake and Wildlife Specialist. And we, we out here at my little fish pond, and uh, a brief history is when we bought this place, this was just a cattle. This is where the cows was right, drinking. Right, right. And I ran the cows off, got rid of them, put some catfish in it. We had the best time ever with catfish, and they disappeared. And I asked all kind of people, and I heard everything from UFOs to poachers <laughs> to... But anyway, the bottom line is them catfish disappeared, and a trapper come in and caught a bunch of otters, and uh, which I found was fascinating because I had never seen an otter out here. But anyway, we redid the pond, new levee, uh, put ditches in it. There's some yeah. cover at the bottom of it. Limed it. Limed it, got everything just right, and this was supposed to be the year. And it ain't happening. Three years from stocking bass, bluegill, yeah. it ought to be busting out the top. And you saying if they in there, you can find them? I can find them. If, if right. they're there, we'll find them. If they're not there, we'll find that, too. And, and you can kind of, you, you do your detective work and tell me what your opinion That's is. Right. That's right. All right, right. well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to follow them around, bug him. I find this fascinating. We're going to shock it and see what comes up. Cranky, what's happening? What are we doing? Talk to me. Shocking fish. Why are we doing this? Get the fish to come out. Have uh, have we been trouble? Have you had trouble catching fish out here? Yes, sir. You think it's cause we ain't got any fish, or we're bad fishermen? We don't got any. We're gonna do an alkalinity test just to see what your lime requirement, see if it's been met. If it hadn't, it, it'll show up pretty quick. Okay. All right. That's a sample size. We'll put one of these in here, and it'll turn green. One drop. Two drops. Uh oh. Three drops. Uh, you very, very low. Low in lime. In lime. This thing looks like something from a sci-fi movie right here. Check that out. much ballast in the back. <laughs> That's quite the rig right there. That thing don't play around, does it? It don't play, uh-uh. It don't make it come up. Boom. Hey, if they don't bite, we bite them. I was fitting to say, can you buy one of them just to fish with? <laughs> Since I'm such a crappy fisherman, maybe I could just rent this boat once a hey. weekend. They used to do it with a telephone crank back then. Not that I know anything about that. <laughs> You know, here's a generator running, ain't nothing happening. Yeah. Uh, they're going to come alive when I get, yeah. get in here. They're going to try to jump out and all that other stuff. But All right. Even though we don't have a large number of yeah. fish, this is important. L last year's bass, he's rather slim. Yeah. Right here, he's rather thin, but he will reproduce, okay? Not in good shape. Well, he could be better, he could be better. This one is better, probably about the same age, but he's a little longer, a little bigger, but he's still thin. He's still low productivity, typical, yeah. that you'd see in an, in an infertile system. Gotcha. Okay? It's like growing a garden without the fertilizer line, and you're producing small ears of corn everything's miniaturized gotcha. so you can boost this up and you'll be amazed at how much bigger and how much more robust these fish get so that's important that you got bass that can reproduce mm -hmm. and you've got some bluegill that are big enough we we hit a good bed right over here yeah that's where i put that yeah. pea gravel yeah okay that's a bluegill right there that's what we're looking for Frank. Mm -hmm. But again, kind of thin, not that thick. How much does a fish feeder help going off three times a day? That's got to help. The quickest way to grow a fish is to put the pellet in his mouth. Gotcha. Now, gotcha. if you only had 
feed or fertilizer if you only had one or two, one, one or the other? I'd say fertilize, because yeah. fertilizer picks a whole lake. We're going to do both. Just we like farming. So yeah, it is like farming. Very much like it. Just like, like farming, low alkalinity. I got to put lime and a new fish feeder. He said, "I don't, I don't have to restock or overstock or, or do any of that. It's just, uh, I'm assuming poor pond management. I'm just because the production's way down. We didn't get a whole bunch of fish out of there. We did get some big bluegill. He did hit the bed right over there. So I'm gonna move that floating dock down this way. But anyway, mystery solved. I don't think it's the I'm pretty sure it's not the otters. I mean, I've went back and forth and back and forth over there looking for, you know, fish bones or scales or otter dropping what they call a toilet. And there is no otter sign. There may be the occasional one getting in here, but I'm, I'm assuming it's low alkalinity and lack of food and just kind of ignoring the pond management. It's just like ignoring your garden. If you don't get the soil right, you're gonna have pickles instead of cucumbers, so. I think that's what it is. Anyway, got the uh, expert's opinion. We're gonna uh, see what steps he recommends and proceed forward.